Hello my fellow mathematician, welcome to this video tutorial whereby we are looking at integration by substitution. We are focusing on, on the methods of integration. So one of the methods of integration is by substitution. And we are going to use this fact here that x power n dx, when you integrate, you are going to get x power n plus 1 divided by a n plus 1 plus c. When you have integral of sine of x with respect to dx, the result is uh, the result is negative cos of x. When you have the integral of cos of x in dx, the result is sine of x plus c. So let us consider this example here, and this is example two of my of my presentation. <coughs> you can take on the other example so that you may learn. When you consider this one now, x, x power 5 and x power 4, uh, x power 4 is x and derivative of x power 5. So now it means the method of integration by part will work. So we let, here we are going to let our u be equal to x power 5. Then our du of uh, dx will be equal to, when you differentiate this, you are going to get 5 x power 4. So you can divide both sides by 5 and we multiply both sides by dx. So meaning that our du over 5 is equal to, I have divided em by 5, you divide em by 5 and I multiply by d, dx both sides. So I will get x power 4 dx. Here dividing by 5 and multiplying by dx. Now when you look at uh, this one, here we have x x power 4 and uh, dx. Meaning that, uh, and we have our u. So, our, our x power 4 sine of x power 5 dx can be written as 1 over 5 integral of sine in the state of x power 5 we write u the one which is there u in the state of dx x power 4 x power 4 dx we are going to write uh, du so I have taken 1 over 5 outside. Now then we are going to use this fact here that uh, when we integrate sine of x, uh, the result is negative cos of x. Because cos differentiated is a uh, negative sign. So negative or the negative will combine to give you positive sign. So that is what we are going to use here. So this is equal to negative 1 over 5 cos of u plus c, where c is a constant. Let me complete this again, we pray together. So, uh, we can substitute u with x power 5, which is equal to negative 1 over 5 cos of x power 5 plus c so learners well, what you, you need to do is to check the method of substitution will only work if part of the if part of the integral is a derivative like here x power 5 it has a relationship because when you, when you differentiate x power 5 we are going to get x power 4 so that is when you apply the method of integration by substitution and of course you remember this fact that uh, integral of sine of x with respect to dx is negative of cos of x because when you differentiate cos of x you are going to get a uh, negative sine of x so negative and negative will combine so next time i'm going to give the, you this example so in our next video tutorial we are going to see how we can integrate this x cos into bracket x squared plus 1 into bracket d dx. So this is what we are going to do uh, next time. And of course we are going also to see 
that we can simply integrate this by using method of substitution. Until then, that is tomorrow. You are going to receive this video. Bye bye. See you next time as we continue learning methods of integration, which is very important in calculus 2. Remember to like, subscribe, and also put on the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video which I upload every day concerning calculus 2 lately. And also you can see uh, other examples on calculus 1 in my channel which is uh, look look Aaron 1. That is my YouTube channel name. Uh, when you click there, you are going to get all my videos on mathematics and we are going to learn together. Bye bye. See you in the next video tutorial as we handle this example here.